for its delicious meals. Buka, one of the most popular Nigerian restaurants here in Brooklyn, introduced Nigerian culture and food to New Yorkers. I had a chance to talk with the owner of the place, Mr. Moshud. Okay, let's meet you. Can you please tell us about yourself? Name is Lukman Oluwa Femi Afolayan. Uh, some people call me Lukman Mashut. Uh, I'm the owner of Buka, New York, a very popular Nigerian restaurant in Clinton Hill in Brooklyn, New York. So we're here to talk about your beautiful restaurant, Buka. First of all, how did you come about that name? It's very exciting. Uh, I must tell you that time, my ex-girlfriend, when I told her I want to name the restaurant Buka, she was like, why Buka? So that's where the first question and answer come. And I told her, I said, in Nigeria, when you tell everybody you are going to a Buka, there's an excitement. Mm. Buka is not a glamorous, chicken looking uh, restaurant, but everybody knows you get the best food at Buka. Okay, anybody that walks into this restaurant now will see that there's this damn food boss in here. I mean, we're just looking at it and it's really creative. How did you come about that? How can you have a Nigerian story without damn food? Oh, we, we all know what it is. <laughs> damn food is, uh, it's, it's a character. It's, it, you can't talk about Lagos and not talk about the damn food driver, the attitude, the everything that happened inside it. So it's so exciting. And when the idea came, I was, when we were trying to renovate the restaurant, but... Uh, six, uh, seven, eight months ago, a friend of mine came here and I was discussing with him like why we don't have a slice of damfo in the front of the restaurant so that when you want to walk in the restaurant, you just go through the damfo to walk in. Then we find out there's going to be a lot of legal stuff and stuff. Then one way I'm like, why would you just bring it inside? And the guy said, yes, let's go. He said, did you, did you read the name on it? Would you like by enter with your tail, <laughs> Joe? <laughs> it's really bad. The restaurant is a constant thing that things more you have to be on your toe. If you come here ten times and you have a good edika icon or a four, and you come here eleven times, it was too salty. Not only you not coming back, you're telling all your friends. Are your customers restricted to just Nigerians, or you have people from I mean all over visiting this place? Okay. Yeah, good. If you wait another one two hours, you might not even have a seat that in Nigeria here. With people that come and have food, and it's only you guys that want to hit your mother with fork and knife. <laughs> <laughs> The non Nigerian, seriously. Are you serious? Yeah, the non Nigerian, when they come here, they already read about horse and everything. They want to ask for the water, wash their hand, and dip, <laughs> and dip their hand. And, I mean, what we have is great. We are blessed. There's nothing close. We should celebrate what we have and let the world know about it. You know, and not be ashamed of it. It's, it's fantastic. It's great stuff. It takes me nine months to open here. Nine months. And I started paying rent without even opening the business. By the time you get all the papers, all the law, all the days, it takes, it takes that long. Wow, it was nice talking to you, Mr. Lukman. I can go on and on. You're such a delight to speak to. But one final word before we let you go. One final word. Uh, my final word is every entrepreneur out there, if you cannot give up your dream, sometimes don't even share your dream because nobody sees it. And if you dream and you tell somebody that's like, oh, no, God, that's so great idea, you better go back home. Because if it's so great and very creative, it should tell you you are crazy to want to do that. Every time somebody tells you it's crazy, you know you're on the right path. Yeah. Oh, so it's nice talking with you. You're welcome, you're so welcome, welcome.